Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're checking out another one of the brand new Hot Wheels cars added to Forza Horizon 4. So, so far we've checked out two of the new vehicles. I've been doing one of these every day this week so far and we're going to continue that for the rest of this week. So, so far we've checked out the two Jet Z, which was the jet powered, JZ powered um, little starfighter looking vehicle and yesterday we checked out this thing this was the studebaker frankenstein vehicle which i was not a huge fan of the looks of but the performance of this thing was awesome so yeah go and check out that video we did recently hit 800 subscribers which is why i'm doing this week-long daily upload period so thank you all so much for helping us out with that it was greatly appreciated it's been amazing to see you guys stick around the channel and join us if you were new and hopefully we can continue to grow the channel to a thousand subscribers and to say thank you for getting to 800 subscribers i am doing another merch giveaway over on my twitter page which is going on till next monday so if you want to help us out with that or you want to enter it then make sure you go and check that out but today we're going to be checking out another one of the brand new vehicles which you've all seen in the thumbnail so let's just go and see and have a little look around the vehicle <laughs> And here it is. It's a pretty cool one today. We've got the Chevrolet Love or Chevy Love truck. Now this thing is absolutely awesome. In real life, the Chevy Love is a mini truck. It has a four-cylinder engine in it, but this is the Hot Wheels version. So it very much does not have a four-cylinder engine in, as you can see by the pickup bed so this thing has been sort of converted into this like hot rod looking little truck it's removed the roof which personally i would have kept the roof i think the roof on the chevy love is one of the cool features but this thing looks absolutely awesome we finally got a proper muscle truck in forza horizon 4 we've got this big old supercharged v8 in there with a blower on the back and we've got an awesome little mini truck to go and check out. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually do with this thing. So here we are in the upgrade shop. Let's go straight to the engine conversions and see what we can put in this thing. So standard, it already has that V8 in there. It's got a 4.6 or 6.4, sorry, V8 putting out. 400 horsepower 500 pound feet of torque which is not bad for a stock engine to be honest uh, we can go ahead and put in the 6.2 out of a hellcat or we can put the 8.4 out of a viper or we can go for the racing v8 which i'm not sure what engine that is um not sure which vehicle that comes out of but um yeah so this has 850 we've got 400 as standard i've been keeping the stock engines in the vehicles we checked out so far so i'm going to keep the stock engine in this for now um it already has quite a lot of horsepower and we are in b class so not too bad we can convert this thing to all-wheel drive if we want to but since this is kind of like a muscle truck i think it's more appropriate to leave it rear wheel drive so let's see what tire options we can get in here we've got stock tires street sport race horizon race snow tires and drag tires i'm going to put on the drag tires this week we're going to build a full drag car i think now let's see what tires we can get on this thing um i guess we kind of want skinny tires on the front and big tires on the back so we'll go ahead and upgrade the tires on the back I'm not going to change up the rims today because I love these muscle rims. They look absolutely awesome. So I'm just going to leave those on there. We can adjust the size and make them a bit more low profile, but I like them nice and fat. Looks much better. And we can actually get a bit of wheel spacing on here, but only on the front. I think it looks better just tucked in. So we'll leave it like that. 
We'll go ahead and upgrade all the clutch and the transmission and all of this good stuff in here. And then brake options, we'll go full brakes. Let's see what we can get on suspension. So we got rally suspension or drift suspension. I think the stock is just going to be more appropriate. We don't really need roll bars if we're going in a straight line, but we'll go ahead and put it in there. We can go for a full roll cage in there which kind of adds the roof back but not a huge fan of that so we'll just go for the sort of half roll cage in there and then let's see how much we can get out of this so standard we have 400 horsepower we'll fully upgrade the engine and see what we actually get out of it so we'll upgrade the carburetor ignition exhausts we got some new camshafts we got valves in there We'll go ahead and upgrade all of this. We can actually upgrade the supercharger, which is nice. And we are already up to S1 class. And now the big reveal. Oops, how much horsepower? 763 horsepower and 753 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels, which we saw in yesterday's video. That much horsepower going to the rear wheels is quite a lot but we have got drag tires today and we've got all the weight of the engine over the rear wheels so hopefully today we should have a bit more of a controllable vehicle and we're going drag racing with it so yeah let's have a look at the paint options now and see what we can paint on it okay so here we are in the spray shop we have got some advanced painting options which is always nice to see so paint group one i imagine is going to change yeah the whole sort of body of the vehicle and it appears that paint group two is actually going to change the dashboard color which i don't think any other vehicle has in forza horizon which is pretty cool actually now I do like the look of this kind of orange paint that we have going on here, this kind of like yellowy orange colour. So I think I'm going to leave that, but we might change up the dashboard, I'm thinking to like a white, maybe sort of like a dark grey, like that looks pretty nice. We can go ahead and paint the bonnet, actually looks pretty cool, so I think maybe we'll go for a semi gloss. And then we'll paint this black. Let's have a look how that looks. That looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. So we'll go with that. We can actually paint... Oh, no, we can't paint the mirrors. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay. We don't have a wing on the back. We don't even have a tailgate, which is <laughs> funny. Um, now, a paint group on the wheels. We can go ahead and paint those black. And that looks much, much better. I wish these wheel options that we have on this vehicle were actually you could actually apply these to other vehicles because we don't really have any proper five spoke muscle wheels like these in the sort of directory so if you're watching Forza add these wheels to the directory so we can put them on other vehicles but we've got a few options in there that you can go ahead and change I'm happy with it just how it is and then we can't change the windows because we don't really have any but yeah that is the thing fully customized let's go to the drag strip and see how it performs all right so here we are at the festival drag strip now i will go ahead and load up an actual drag strip race in a minute and we'll see how it compares to other vehicles in the class but i wanted to do kind of a test pass down the drag strip and see how it goes now driving it over here i already noticed it does like to wheelie a lot so let's see how it goes we'll rev it up a little bit and launch and we i don't think we picked up the front tires there but it is definitely getting there let's see what we get 139.1 miles an hour that's not bad actually for something that's rear wheel drive it doesn't really have the fattest tires and it doesn't have as much horsepower as some of those amazing drag cars but yeah let's go ahead and load up a race and see how it compares with the rest of its class all right our little chevrolet love we've got another chevrolet love right next to us and we've got all hot wheels cars here and they're all s1 class so i'm curious to see how well it compares 
Obviously, none of those will be upgraded. The car next to us got a massive wheelie on there. But yeah, we are out ahead. And there we go. Let's see actually what time we get on the drag strip. I think it's quarter mile. So we've got a nine second time. I think it's a quarter mile drag strip. So if that was real life, that would be a very impressive pass. Um, so yeah, the little Chevrolet Love has got a little bit of zip about it. So there we go guys, we've checked out the brand new Chevrolet Love Hot Wheels vehicle in Forza Horizon 4. We're going to be checking out the rest of the vehicles every day this week, so if you want to see customization and gameplay for those, then make sure you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. And if you are new to the channel and you want to support us, we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Chevrolet Love. Is this one of your favourite vehicles now in Forza Horizon? It is definitely one of mine. This thing is absolutely awesome. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm going to end the video there. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.